Now we all know just how irresistible corgis are. With their perky ears and wiggly bottoms, it's hard not to fall in love with these charming furballs. But before you make that leap into corgi ownership, there are a few things you should consider. In today's video, we're discussing the 10 reasons why a corgi is not for you. Let's dive right in. The first thing you need to know is that corgis are not your typical lap dogs. While some may be cuddlier than others, these little fur balls were bred for herding, and that means they have an incredible amount of energy. To keep a corgi happy and healthy, you'll need to provide them with plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. Without these, you're likely to see some unwanted behaviors due to boredom and pent up energy. I've been pent up too long. Ah! So, if you're planning to bring one into your home, make sure you're committed to spending quality active time with your corgi. Number two, let's talk about the noise level. Despite their short stature, corgis can be surprisingly loud and barky. This barking is deeply rooted in their herding instinct. These little powerhouses were bred to move animals many times their size, so you can expect a bark that's larger than life. With proper training, you can manage their barking to some extent, but you wouldn't want to take it away completely because it's part of who they are. It's who I am, Helena. It's who I am. It's part of the whole package of a corgi. So, if you're sensitive to noise and could find yourself easily annoyed, you might want to consider another breed. Now, on to point number three. Corgis and their fur. Yes, all dogs shed, but corgis take it to a whole new level. Their fluffy double coat is a constant source of fur, and it will find its way into every nook and cranny of your life. Your car will never be pristine, no matter how hard you try. Expect to see corgi glitter on your clothes, furniture, and well, everything. Everything! You'll end up investing in every brush, vacuum, and gadget out there to try to battle the shedding, but let me tell you, it's a losing battle. So, if you're a neat freak, know that this might be a deal breaker for many before you commit to bringing home a corgi. And the fourth thing you need to know about corgis is that they are ridiculously smart. Now, this is generally a good thing, but it can have its drawbacks. Corgis are quick learners and incredibly independent. In fact, many of you would say that they have a cat-like personality. Sometimes, when you call them, they'll just stare at you, judging your incompetence as their master. They have a mind of their own, and they're not afraid to use it. So, be prepared for a dog who sometimes may outsmart you. Before we go on, we just wanted to thank you for watching up to this point in the video. We love talking about corgis here featuring our very own Gandalf. And if you enjoy what we're doing on this channel, please hit that like button. It's like giving Gandalf a virtual belly rub, which he'll greatly appreciate. Now, let's talk about the social side of corgis. These dogs can be a bit choosy when it comes to making friends. While they can be incredibly loyal to their families, they may not always be as friendly with strangers, both humans and canine. If you're looking for a dog who's instantly the life of a party at the dog park, a corgi may not be the best fit. For Gandalf, he was happy to play with all dogs until about the age of two. He quickly formed a bond with just a few friends and refused to play with others. Over time, he stopped letting other dogs greet him. We socialized him in all contexts, but as he became an adult, he really did become a bit picky on who he would interact with. As for people, he loves all humans. If you show one ounce of interest in him, he will give you warm kisses and insist that you give him a nice back rub. I'm curious how your corgi is with other dogs and people. Please comment below and share. Corgis can be a bit bossy. Their herding instinct sometimes manifests as them trying to herd you and kids in the household. They may nudge, bark, or even round up family members. While it's often enduring, it can sometimes get a little bit too pushy for those who prefer a more laid back dog. So, if you're not a fan of canine supervisors, a corgi might not be your top pick. At the dog park, if other dogs were wrestling, Ganoff would have to go in between the dogs to break it up. It was as if he was the fun police, which was no fun at all. Ah, what are you, the fun police? Yes! Yeah. We rarely go to the dog park now since he is older and has gotten even more sure of himself. If we do socialize with other dogs, typically we divert Gandalf's energy to a game of frisbee to keep him away from putting on the fun police hat again. Now, imagine a whole squad of corgis wearing the fun police hat. No fun at all. You're no fun. Next, corgis are known for their strong wills. In other words, they are stubborn. But sometimes she can be as stubborn as a mule. These dogs are independent thinkers and they like to do things their way. 
While this can be seen as a positive trait, it also can be a bit challenging if you prefer a dog who follows your every command without question. So, be ready to negotiate with your corgi. And remember, they have a mind of their own. You'll need to get those yummy treats ready to bribe them, which leads to our next point. Corgis are masters of persuasion when it comes to snacks. These charming beggars can quickly convince you that one more treat won't hurt. But be warned, corgis are prone to weight gain. Their long, sturdy bodies can carry extra pounds, which puts stress on their spine and joints. So you'll need to keep a close eye on their diet to ensure that they get enough exercise to stay in tip-top shape. As a tip, we typically feed Ganoff on our walks to combine a bit of training and allow him to work for us food. This way, he doesn't overeat as we rarely give him excessive treats. On a more serious note, it's important to mention that corgis are among the breeds prone to degenerative myelopathy, or DM. This is a progressive neurological disease that can affect a corgi's mobility, and it's essential to be aware of this potential health challenge. Regular vet checkups and a proactive approach to well-being are crucial if you decide to bring a corgi into your home. Now, corgis are known attention magnets. They have this uncanny ability to steal the limelight wherever you go. If you're someone who values a low profile, a corgi might not be your best choice. These little charmers have a way of turning heads, striking up conversations, and bringing smiles to people's faces wherever they roam. So, be prepared to be in the spotlight if you're a corgi owner. Corgis, with all their energy, barking, shedding, and intelligence, are not for the faint of heart. These little dogs come with big personalities, and while they can be incredibly loving and loyal, they also have their quirks and challenges. If you're ready to invest time, energy, and lots of patience into raising a corgi, they can make fantastic companions. But remember, they're not for everyone, and it's crucial to consider your lifestyle, living situation, and personal preference before bringing one into your home. So there you have it, the 10 reasons why a corgi is not for you. Before you make the decision to bring a corgi into your life, weigh these factors carefully. As a corgi lover and owner, I can say that the joys they bring far outweigh the challenges, but it's essential to go into it with your eyes wide open. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more valuable insights into the world of corgis. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos about the positive things about corgis. Thanks for watching.